In this video, we are going to implement basic animations meaning walk, idle and run for our player. So how do we implement animations for a character in Unity? Well, first of all, we need to have an animator component on our agent, which was already created for us when we have created our character because it has its own avatar, Ragdoll, I think it's called, and it is used for adjusting the animations that we use or get from the asset store, for example, so it looks correct on this concrete character. Okay, but how do we create some animations? Well, we have downloaded the Kevin Iglesias pack, which contains basic motions, so here are our animations that we are going to be using. Okay, and what do we need to have to create our animations? We will need to create an animation controller to add it to our agent. So let's create a new folder in Assets folder and let's call it Animations. Okay, let's open it up. Let's right click and create a new animator controller and call it Player or Agent Animator. We can just adjust the name Agent Animator Controller. Okay, we can choose our agent from hierarchy and drag this animator controller to our controller field in the animator. Okay, and to view what animations do we currently have, we can go to window in the top menu, open it up, go to animations and open the animator. And those are all the animations that we currently have. And we do not have any. That's why we have Kevin Iglesias basic motion pack, because it contains the basic animations. So we can simply drag this animation and we can see that the uh, we should be able to see the motion that the animation provides and this is a basic idle state Okay, so let's drag our basic motion here and we can see that we have our animation So let's go to our scene. Let's choose our agent uh, Use F when on the scene window to focus on our character now. Let's press play and We should see that our character is in the idle animation state so we have implemented our animation for the idle state, but it still moves around like this. So we will need to adjust for the movement animations. So let's stop the game and we will, instead of creating a single animation, let's delete this and right click on this window and create from new blend tree. So we are going to use a blend tree here. And this, uh, if we double click it using left mouse button, we can open it up. This is our blend tree. So a way to blend between different animations. So we are going to create this using some of the animations provided in this basic motion pack. So first of all, we will need to choose the blend tree in the animator window and go to motions in the inspector and add three motions. So click plus and add motion field and do it three times and we will have here the motions so the animations that we want to blend between first one we will can choose this circle icon and we can choose our idle animation which will be the first one next one will be a simple walk animation and the last one will be a run animation okay and we have some more parameters here one is a threshold which allows us to set uh, what is the parameter, so blend parameter, and how we change between those uh, three animations. So let's choose our animator window and let's, let's press play. And now when we uh, adjust the blend tree, we can see that our character starts moving faster and faster until he starts walking. And if we drag it back to zero, he stands still. Okay, so we need to adjust this parameter blend to adjust which animation is being played. But before we can do that, let's choose the blend tree and I'm going to adjust the thresholds by unchecking the automated thresholds and I'm going to choose 4 for the, run, uh, for the walk animation and 12 for the run animation. Okay, and they should uh, change. Okay, so now uh, this is walk animation, so let's set it uh, say run animation to 12 and walk animation to 4. So first one is walk, is first one is idle, second one is walk, and third one is run. Okay, great. And I have adjusted this because we are going to set our agent speed 
to 12. So let's choose our agent mesh, uh, nav mesh agent and set its speed to 12. So this way we can use the velocity of our agent, nav mesh agent to drive our animation. But how do we do it? Well, let's open up our script. So this was our agent controller script. And we are going to simply slide up and create an animator reference. Okay, let's call it animator. And we are going to call in the start function animator equals get component dot animator. Okay, and now we will use this animator to set the speed of our movement. So in the update section, we are going to call animator dot set float because the parameter blend is float. We can call blend as string value. Be sure to spell it just as it is in the unity inspector so this is blend we can rename it by double tapping here and let's call it move okay copy this name go back to your editor and instead of blend let's paste the move and what we are going to set here is we are going to use nav agent dot velocity which is a access the current velocity of nav mesh agent so this is the velocity and this is a vector 3 to get the speed, we are going to call magnitude on this to get the speed. Okay, great. Let's go to Unity and test it out. Okay, and now when we press play, we should be able to see that our character starts walking and running when we click on this spot. But we can see that there is an issue with rotating the character. Okay, so why is that? We go back to NavMesh Agent and we have those options. We have set the speed. But now angular speed is responsible for rotating our character. So let's set it to 500 for example. And we can see that now it looks much more natural when our agent is rotating. You can tweak those options to your lacking, but this is the basic setup that we have for our agent to move around our map. In the next video we are going to briefly mention the obstacles and how we can use them in, on our nav mesh. But for now, thank you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed this content so far, please like those videos, please subscribe to my channel and leave comments and share those videos, it helps me immensely. See you in the next video.